Hot. So we've got the Weber Q1200 barbecue here. We've already assembled it. I'm going to show later on in the video the assembly and unboxing. And I'm also going to show a comparison on using a regulator and not using the regulator. Since the RV we're hooking it into already has a regulator, there's really no need for two. But what I was really hoping to do was be able to have the regulator on this so if we want to use it with just a tank out camping when we don't have the RV, then we could do that. Because once we move the regulator off of this, we won't be able to do that. So we'll see if there is a comparison in the flames and uh, let you know. What we got here is we got the Weber Q1200 gas barbecue. We're going to be opening it up and then connecting it to our RV. So what we did is I ordered up a, a quick disconnect hose for our RV. It's got a quick disconnect on this end and then a female end on this end. So on the Weber barbecue, we're going to be attaching these brass fittings. So we can do just a, a quick disconnect, put it away, bring it out, and make it real easy to use. So let's see what's inside the box. So we're getting down into it. Looks like we got some directions. So we'll get those opened up, take a look at those, and start assembling this Weber barbecue. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drop the grill on. Doesn't look like there's anything else that goes down in there. So it's kind of nice. Nice and heavy grill. Drops in place just like that. We're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. I'm just gonna set it right back here. It comes with a couple of pins. Get those lined up. A couple of clips. I did both mine inward. Just because I think if they're both inward, they've got a little more protection inside here versus if the clips were out here. I think they could get caught on stuff, so if they're on the inside, looks a little cleaner as well. Step we're gonna install the thermostat and the handle. So we'll go ahead and do the thermostat first here. Got a little wing nut on it, so definitely installs pretty easy. Next is our handle. Got a couple stainless steel bolts here for us. And to make this a little easier, you could install these two items before attaching it to the grill. The other thing you can do is put a little Loctite on those screws so that they don't uh, come out or rattle out. We're gonna be carrying this in our RV, so I'm gonna add that later. So I don't have any Loctite with me right now. So there we go, we've got handle installed and our thermostat. One thing you want to make sure to do, which I did not do, is right here on the front there's a logo. It's the uh, Weber Q logo. It's got a little swoosh underneath. If it matters to you, I first installed that upside down. So you might want to uh, make sure you install it the correct way if it even matters to you. All right, next up we're gonna install the igniter. We've got the igniter right here with a AAA battery. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the positive side is going in first, negative side, so the flat side is inside there. And once it's in, it just goes in and turns clockwise. You just touch it just a little bit and you can hear it clicking. We're now gonna install the adjustment knob. 
So as you can see, there's one flat side to it, flat sides up, and it's just pressure fitted on. There we go. All right, we're gonna be setting this up so I can tie this straight into our RV. So what I did is I got this fitting right here. It is actually on Amazon. I'll have a link to it below in my comments. Got this quarter inch fitting. It will be a quick disconnect off of the hose. And so we're gonna take this brass fitting and this brass fitting, put a little pipe tape on it and connect them. On the barbecue itself, there is a rubber seal down in there that seals this edge. But uh, I'm gonna put a little uh, pipe tape on that just to uh, give it a little bit better seal. All right, so we've got the pipe tape on right here. We just wrapped it around. This one I already installed. And we've got it on there. It's gonna just thread in there. And we're gonna get it all the way down to make sure it seats nice and tight. Now what you can do to test this for leaks is get some soapy water in a spray bottle. And once we have this all hooked up, we're gonna squirt a little soapy water on it, see if it bubbles anywhere, and that'll tell us if it has any leaks. So we're gonna just kind of snug this up. Remember, it's got a rubber seal in it. So you don't wanna over tighten it. So we've got it all tight. Here's our quick disconnect hose. This is gonna just click. You gotta make sure it's in the closed position, but this will click onto that. And this hose will click right onto our RV. We've got the drip tran here. You can get extras of these. Um, that way you can just toss them after these get all gummed up. Um, or you just have your regular tray that you have to clean out. But they do have a lot of these on Amazon so you can just buy a package of them so you can just replace them. I'll do a link in our comments below. But this just installs real easily. Slides right into there and kind of locks into place. One thing this Weber Q1200 came with is a good little cooking methods, easy steps to success, how to keep it clean, preheating, keeping the lid down. And it's actually got a chart on the back that talks about how long to cook pork, red meat, poultry, seafood, and vegetables. So a nice little quick guide for you uh, if you're new to barbecuing. So we went ahead and connected our cable right here to our RV. We've got a valve right there so we can turn the gas on and off right here as well as up at the barbecue. Here at the barbecue we also have a valve so we can turn it on and off right there. You can see our brass fittings. It's All right, so we're gonna go ahead and squirt this, test it for any leaks. What we're looking for is any bubbles. If there is any leaks, it'll bubble up just like blowing a bubble. And that means that we have a leak in there, but looks pretty good. Don't see any leaks. So first thing you're gonna do is remove the knob off the adjustment. <laughs> then you're gonna remove this nut right here. I've already loosened it. Then right down in there, we've got two Phillips screw heads that we're gonna remove to pop the regulator off. All right, we got the assembly apart here. We've got the regulator off, so we're gonna go ahead and take the regulator off the valve and get it prepped for the brass. All right, we've got the valve in a vise here, and we went ahead and just loosened it a little bit with the adjustable wrench, and we're just gonna take it right off you want to make sure that if you do put this in a vise, you don't want to score up the fitting here. But we'll go ahead and get that off. We've got our quarter inch fitting right here. And we've got our reducer to go from quarter to one eighth, which will go into our adjustment valve. So we're going to use some pipe sealant to do that. I know on the video I was using the blue tape earlier when you should use the yellow tape that's made for propane. 
Um, but I knew I was going to be switching out the regulator and taking it out, so I just did it just for the test. So we're going to go ahead and assemble this and get it all together. We've got the valve all assembled now, and we're going to go ahead and install it back on the barbecue. All right, we've got the valve all connected, back installed, those two screws back in. All right, so we just hooked up the Weber Q1200 barbecue with the new fittings without the regulator. And it does seem to have a little bit stronger flame. I tried to take a picture of before and after, but it really didn't, really didn't show up well. But just by eyeing it, it does look like it has a little bit taller, a little bit stronger, hotter flame than it did when I did have the regulator. So I'd definitely recommend doing it. And of course I did check all the fittings with some soapy water make sure we didn't have any leaks and we'll be using this next week in Mojave looking forward to it thanks for watching all right first time cooking up on the grill we got two plank steaks turn out pretty good like in this new grill make sure you do leave us a comment or hit like and subscribe thanks for watching